this video tutorial I want to talk about the sign uh, tool and how you can use it to produce a simple curve which is uh, actually defined by this sign tool. Uh, I can uh, show you how you can produce a simple multiplication to produce an amplitude for the sign uh, equation and also you can control the length of the sign curve by a series. So, uh, for the start, I'm going to uh, talk about how a sine curve is produced uh, algorithmically. So, if you look at this uh, axis and this equation, we have y equals to sine x, and we have the curve. So, what happens is that we feed the x, we give the x a number, and the sine of it uh, is added to the y. So if we have a point here, so it's maybe something like 0 0.5, the sine of 0 0.5 is calculated and it goes to the y coordinate. So we have a point here that the y is sine of this number. So if we just have a seri series of points and give it to the sine, we can uh, actually produce the sine curve and we can connect those lines and the, connect those points to have the sine curve. So uh, what I'm going to use is uh, to start with a point. I'm going to do the vector menu and select the construct point. Okay, And actually we need a series of number going to the x coordinate so we can type SER. I've talked about series in a video tutorial so you can watch that uh, and uh, if I connect that to the series you can s uh, to the construct point you can see that there are several points which uh, their x coordinate is increasing 0 1 2 3 4 5 and the y and the z coordinate is 0 so it's just uh, uh, an array of points a linear array of points uh, so what we need for the sine curve is to control these three inputs. The first is the start. We can give it a number and actually it controls the start of the sine curve. The step is the uh, distance between the points. So uh, you can see that the distance between the points is controlled by this uh, step. Uh, and the count is actually the number of points we are producing. So we can increase it. And the next step is to uh, uh, actually work on the series and give it to the y or z coordinates. So you can r uh, easily type SIN to have the sign, or you can go to the math menu and to the trigonometry sub menu, and you have cosine and sine here. You can use both of them. So uh, I'm going to give this series to the value so the numbers are going to be evaluated by the sine equation and then I'm giving it to the y. So you can see that the curve is uh, actually in the xy plane and if I give it to the z you can see it's in the xz plane and if I give the series into the y coordinate we have a yz curve and if I give it to the X and Y, you can see a 45 degree curve uh, in the XY plane. And that's because uh, we have something like this. It's a 5, a 5 for X and Y, and then it goes to the Z. And that's the sign of the X. So it's again 10 and 10, and again the sign. So that's defining, that's, uh, that will give you a 45 degree curve. Uh, on the xy plane and the z will be the height of the curve. So what we can do here is to control the output by just going to the math and giving it a uh, multiplication. This is a, a simple uh, video tutorial so you can understand what's happening here. And I'm going to give it a number 
and you can see that we can control the height of the sign uh, sign curve and actually if you want a better curve you can decrease the steps so those uh, tiny little points will actually map into the curve and you can increase the number so you can have more control on the length of the curve and that will be a sine curve so what you can do is to uh, connect these points together you can go to the curve and go to the interpolate and give it to the vertexes and let me just sh turn this off okay we have the curve here you can also use uh, another uh, uh, equation maybe cosine and you can see that this is a sign and let me just copy and paste this and use a sign here you can see the difference that's the difference between the sine and the cosine if we start from zero and start from zero you can actually see uh, when the sine is 0, the cosine is 1, and when the, uh, the sine is 1, you can see that the cosine is 0. So they are actually the same curves. Uh, you can combine these sine and cosines together, and you can use a sine here. And let me just have this multiplication, but disconnect the z-coordinate and let's make a cosine so I'm giving a cosine here giving it to the series and let's give it a multiplication so we can control the cosine and we can use other functions maybe like um, going to this and polynomial and use square and let me just use the square of cosine and if we just multiply, uh, use a multiplication for the sine and the cosine again, give this to the z coordinate, you can see that uh, you can produce different curves from this uh, approach. It's easily uh, combining the sine and the cosine uh, to produce um, different curves. You can see here. Uh, I can also give it a maybe a cube so check this out you can have another curve or if we give a cube to the sine you can see this curve approaches and comes out and this is actually a simple method to understand the sine and cosine and how we can use it to produce uh, geometry and what I'm going to do is to give it a pipe so we can make a pipe here okay and you can actually use uh, I'm going to right click on the perspective and choose clipping plane and let me just clipping plane give it a clipping plane and rotate it 180 degree you can see that we can have only the positive part of it or just move this and have other things okay let me just bake this pipe so you can understand and you can have these surfaces also in grasshopper we can uh, go to the intersect section and use the trim solid okay it's better to have the caps on so it's uh, flat caps okay there's a easier approach you can use the solid difference so I'm going to make a difference from this pipe and draw a box so we can just have this and give it to the B rips B extract and set it on okay and you can see that we can have the upper part of the pipe okay, I'm going to bake this and close that and that will be your results 
you can just explode them easily choose a surface and you can have the surface so this is basically uh, a simple example of how you can use the sine and cosine uh, to produce geometry but you can also use uh, another function just uh, for another uh, curve we can use logarithm log okay we have it here you can use a natural logarithm or other things but I'm going to use a log okay give it to the series and combine this with the uh, uh, resulting sine cosine curve so let's give another multiplication and give this to the log and you can see that the curve is just increasing let me just make this go up and you can see that the curve increases the uh, the height of the curve increases as it goes further and further uh, you can make this another multiplication uh, or maybe just use a uh, okay I'm going to decrease the numbers so the curve is just going out easily or maybe delete the pipe so we can have this okay you can see that it just goes fast you can control that uh, you can uh, search in the internet and find different equations combine them or you can also use uh, the uh, expression tool or the evaluate tool I will talk about this later in another video but you can uh, type in different expressions like sine x multiplied by a cosine x that's that squared so you can also use that but I will uh, talk about expression and evaluate in another video so uh, I don't want to uh, make it a long video because we are just actually talking about sine and cosine and thank you for watching this video if you have any comments or if you uh, have any questions about the grasshopper commands feel free to put it under this uh, under this video and again thank you for watching